The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. As uh, we get to the indexes here, let's go ahead and update them. But, uh, well, when we uh, last spoke yesterday, as I said, I have been watching these kind of markets for forever. And in a bear market, you do have lows and very good tradable lows a lot of the time. Uh, but before you have one that's going to last more than a day or two, uh, generally you're going to have a fairly good signal. And that signal to me would have been a retest of 36.36 on the S&P cash uh, and a little close above it. Now, this being a Friday, uh, can we get the close back above it on Monday? I think we can. Uh, yesterday I was watching kind of into the close and the option market makers were uh, really acting like 3,600 uh, was uh, the number for today, like they kind of knew what was going on. Um, they're not always right. And as big as the swings are in the market these days, I didn't uh, decide to, to uh, put a position out. I would rather have something I know that I could trade for three, four, five, six, seven days. Uh, but uh, I don't, you know, I don't think we're going to probably start getting that. Uh, as far as next week, week's option, uh, uh, I can't even say it, next week's uh, options expiration, they're still looking uh, at uh, spies in the uh, 375, 380 range. So I don't know if there's anything you can do except wait. Um, it's not uncommon to really make you sweat over a weekend. I'm not going to buy hoping that we start moving back higher. But uh, we just keep trying to break out the lows we can uh, keep on getting lighter volume and uh, that's kind of it now we did have uh, earnings this morning uh, USB uh, it's up about a percent and a half uh, city up about one percent PNC down about one percent uh, Wells Fargo up three and then eh, let's call it three and a third percent uh, UNH uh, that's the one I thought that might have the big problem, uh, but it uh, doesn't look so like so far. In fact, let me do this because I've got this all set up wrong. I've got my pre-market prices set up here. So let's go ahead and change that back to those. Uh, okay. Uh, let's do this. Now this. Uh, there we go. Sorry about that. That was all pre-market uh, for these. Um, so anyway, yeah, UNH up. Uh, yeah, it's just a percent now. Uh, so we've got that. But like I said, not much going on in those that would make you really think uh, something's happening of any kind of big import in those earnings. I'll post them in the den in a minute. Um, but uh, that's it. We've, you know, if you discount, I think a lot of people are discounting Putin. Somebody brought that up in the den. Uh, I, you know, a lot of times it's that thing that you forgot about. And I'm wondering if it isn't that train uh, contract, uh, a rail contract uh, that's going to rear its ugly head or that's what everybody's a little worried about at the moment. So we'll know more about it on Wednesday. They're going to continue uh, to negotiate. No lockouts. And according to the union, no uh, no flu. Going to hit all of them. But uh, eh, they never really kind of admit to that. Generally, you kind of, it's pretty easy to tell when somebody's locked out. A lot tougher to know when everybody just calls up and coughs a bit on the phone. Uh, but uh, we'll probably know a lot more about that Monday morning. I don't know if there's any reason to go out and uh, put your head out, uh, but we'll see how the market closes today. Volume so far, 
about uh, 6.7 uh, billion shares. So is it any kind of blowout? No. Uh, we're probably going to get about 10 and a half, maybe 11 billion shares by the end of the day. Again, we don't have any real burning bush uh, to hang our hats on. That's my first mixed metaphor of the day. But, uh, you know, we are going to get it. And the question is just when. Um, I think it's going to be to the upside, but I'm not going to get uh, out over the tips of my skis. Yet another metaphor. Uh, but uh, that's kind of it at the moment. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Let's do a little history and uh, go on. And I actually forgot to tell everybody that, uh, hey, it's 2 o'clock. We always come here at the appointed time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Uh, okay. Um, uh, we do that. Oh, then we need to do history. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1977, Atari releases their video computer system known as the VCS and later as the Atari 2600. It took two years for the VCS to gain traction, but by 1979, it was the best-selling gift of the Christmas season. Once it was established, the Atari VCS took the market by storm, popularizing home video gaming and helping cement the video game movement into mainstream culture. Uh, 877-927-6648. So let's go back and look at these charts. Uh, we go back in here. Let me update this one. I want to go back to the usual suspects. Uh, you had a nice uh, bullish engulfing candle with lots of volume yesterday, uh, giving about half that back um, to it's 213. You had about half the volume. So you're probably going to have less. Um, I keep on thinking you had two dojis. You're kind of back to that level now. Um, I thought that the first resistance level would be about 130. And maybe if we can just beat all the bearishness out of everybody this week, we might have that uh, opportunity to find the low and start moving back higher. Uh, can't really say on that. Okay. Do, 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 do. okay. Question to look at the UVXY. Uh, you're down a little bit, li a little lighter volume. Um, about three fourths into yesterday's candle. Options are still bullish for next week. I don't see anything that you can read out of that. Let's take a quick look and see the SMHs. Had a big turnaround yesterday. You're about halfway into them today. Probably the best signal in a bad neighborhood uh, is the 10 million or 10.7 million shares higher yesterday. And uh, the SMH is down on three point, well, a little less than three point three million shares so far today. We'll look at uh, some of these others and see if we can't find In a time of booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16-year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, diverse partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618. And we are back. We're going to go to Larry in Wyoming. How you doing? I'm doing okay, Dave. How you doing? Fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know. We all are. Um, I'm just happy to be alive. I really mean that, actually. I, I enjoy life. Um, you don't have to answer. That was just rhetorical. Um, <laughs> David, I, yesterday on your show, I, I saw um, Joby, J-O-B-Y, flash across your screen before I could figure out why that was. And um, I, was at, I want to know what you know about it because... Um, it's got good uh, following on the internet as far as a bright future with this elect electric, you know, battery powered um, last last hour um, shuttling into airports. What, what do you think? Um, the problem is getting uh, enough battery time. Um, I take it you're not a pilot, right? I am a pilot. Yeah. Ah, well, what are the minimums for VFR right now? Oh, I don't fly anymore, so the minimum's like 2,500 above, like a mile out. I don't remember. How about, how about fuel? Well, fuel, interestingly enough, when I was a young man, I, I almost ran out of fuel out west heading into uh, Casper, Wyoming at midnight, but I don't know. I don't, the fuel, I like to have a third of a tank when I'm within 50 miles of an airport. I'll put it that way. Well, that it, I, I think the last time I looked, it was 45 minutes past uh, any of your VFR locations. So, okay. at least that's what I always used. So, you, you know, you had or, ought to have enough fuel to get to your destination plus 45 minutes. Well, the problem okay, is... That, I, I would regularly violate that. I didn't know that rule. <laughs> maybe maybe yeah. my instructor just lied to me, but... I've always no, used that. Not. I want I forty-five don't even minutes them plus. I'm discussing that, uh, and I'm serious. Yeah. So that's the problem. Um, in IFR, uh, it's even. It's uh, maybe it's thirty minutes and forty-five. Can't remember. Um, the uh, problem with Joby is there's just you take off, yeah. and you're already into your minimums for uh, how much fuel you need uh, left. Now, of course, it's batteries. 
Yeah. But that's an excellent point, Dave. That really is. I got to give you. I'm glad I called you. <laughs> now, I there there's a guy here in town that um, runs a big YouTube channel, and I talk to him uh, on occasion uh, on uh, electric uh, planes and stuff. He's got a little cub um, up north of here, maybe about 40 minutes. Uh, but uh, he was doing a lot of stuff about that, and. I made some comments about it, and he kind of challenged me on it, and I challenged him back. And I think he's kind of starting to see the issue, and that is if you could double the range, then I think maybe you got something. The problem is that you just can't even get past uh, that. Uh, now, the, they're trying to have their cake and eat it too. That is, they're trying to license it as a plane, and, uh, and get the uh, lower restrictions uh, for how much uh, time you need left over uh, for a helicopter. I'm trying to remember what it is now. Maybe it's tw 30 minutes for a helicopter. I think it's 45 minutes for an airplane. And since uh, the 30 minutes was a lot more achievable, they kind of, like I said, want to have their cake and eat it too. They want it half uh, qualified as a hel helicopter for lower times and then... Uh, uh, also, uh, because uh, more of the uh, maintenance is uh, lower on an airplane, they want it uh, kind of cl uh, classified that way. Um, they've also what they crashed. Have on their, in their favor, Dave, is uh, uh, right in their corporate board is a guy that's like Mr. FAA. He worked at the FAA and he's supposedly negotiating their way through all these pro prohibitions that could emerge. And I think they're backed by massive corporate money with Toshiba or something. They got a Japanese major corporation that's backing them. I'm not joking. Oh, and no, that I, company wants to make this work. That's what well, I they, know, you know. They've crashed two of them. Yes, they have. <laughs> so, so that's not good. I, I like gas. I'm, listen, I like ICE engines. I really do. I, I think if they put the money from EV into ICE engines and, and incorporated carbon fiber parts, well, you'd have a very lightweight power plant producing more horsepower, and that, have that's you, ideal, have, in my opinion. Have you, but, have you oh, seen that new uh, P-51 from Germany? No, no. No, I trade all the time, Dave. I have no life. <laughs> Well, uh, there's a P-51 replica, two, uh, three fourths uh, scale, uh, runs with a uh, Rotax uh, 915 fuel injected engine, right. and probably for a plane fairly inexpensive. Um, but where a lot of, if you look at the rivets and everything else, there's thousands and thousands of parts in a airplane. This one uh, minus the engine, I think is nine pieces. Wow. So, you know, there's no, a I'm, lot there. I'm not getting around. I've already sold the house, and I live in a in a town home, so I, uh -huh. I'm i not doing any more projects. I build models, like plastic models. Well, That's what, what I'm do. trying to say is that they're going a lot more uh, toward yeah. the, the, what, it, what the manufacturing process is called, one shot. Yeah. Where they can build the whole thing in one big piece, or at least... Uh, limit the amount of small pieces. Right, uh, right, to right, it. right. But that no, that it, is it used to be uh, early on. They were you just had to sit there and grind them down out of fiberglass for hours or yeah. worse. You know. Yeah. So I, I think on the chart basis, I was looking at it. I think that you saw it yeah. just because it had tested the previous low on lighter volume. So can yeah, it bounce? I yeah. In May, for that reason, it came down to the February um, breakout bar, and on lighter, twenty percent lighter volume. So I, it went above an indicator, and I took it, and it, it went up okay for a while. It's in a yeah. trading range. I, I really think it'll survive until it doesn't. You know, because of the well, backing. If you listen you to know. yesterday's show, my one of my big themes is you don't want companies that need money. I don't know if you heard right. that. And I think and, they and this is gonna, money. I think got like huge amounts of money. Like yeah, uh, yeah, you? sort of. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah everybody's exactly. got money until it's hard to get. 
right? Well, until the corporation backing them, I'm sure, has a way out of it. But I'm just saying they, they do have a great backer. And, yeah, I don't really want to fly uh, the last, like, 60 miles in a battery-powered plane. I really don't. That's not my dream, you know? So, yeah, that's the, that's the problem. Um, they're a little heavy. They probably need, I'm going to say, three to five more years of development. I think that I think they're highly optimistic, like uh, Musk was on the self-driving car. Okay, I appreciate your input because I value it. Thank you, Dave. You bet. We'll be back in a minute. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And uh, heads of people, uh, if you're not familiar with Joby, they've got one of those... Uh, kind of small flying, uh, I guess they're calling it a flying taxi service. Uh, it's got, uh, depending on which version you look at, these things kind of have like nine different motors on them. So if they lose one, not a big deal. But it's uh, a lot of wiring and a lot of big batteries. And, of course, uh, the enemy of flight uh, time and range is weight and batteries are heavy. So... Again, um, if you think uh, it's tough and Musk had problems uh, with the transportation board, uh, you're going to have a lot more. Um, they're going to have to have changes in the FAA certification, which have not happened yet. So I, I would say the risk is high in this and that you're going to have to get everybody together 
uh, and sing Kumbaya in the next Congress uh, to get those changed. If they aren't, I don't think that this is a uh, that Joby is a going concern. I think uh, whether everybody it's a great idea, maybe before it's time, maybe they just pare it down and wait for the changes out of the FAA and how these are going to be uh, certified. Uh, if you're not into uh, being uh, an amateur pilot or even a professional one, uh, each airplane gets a certificate. And there's a lot of regulations and things you have to do to keep that certificate. Um, you've got to have the plane inspected uh, uh, regularly. And there's certain things that some planes have to do and you have to fix things. And uh, it's uh, almost as bad as a boat when you want to throw money at it. So the question is whether or not these, these uh, uh, will work out um, and how are they going to certify them. Uh, the FAA is in no hurry uh, to get in front of this. They want to see uh, some of these tested for probably years. And that's no different than just even a regular plane. I'm not talking about a, a Boeing. I'm talking about, you know, hundreds and thousands, uh, uh, not thousands, but thousands of flight hours in a small uh, airplane just to get it certified. It's enormously expensive. And one of the reasons why 90% of all the motors in small aircraft today technology goes back to 1930. Nobody can actually afford to go through the certification process to put on a lot of new engines. There's been a couple, but I mean, it's extremely rare. And most of them have started in Europe, uh, mostly because uh, they're a little uh, uh, more lenient on uh, letting those planes fly for a while. And then they can be certified here in the United States. But um, our big uh, engine, uh, uh, piston engine manufacturers uh, have a real tough problem, and that is just how expensive it is, uh, it is to get things certified uh, for uh, uh, airplanes and power plants. 877-927-6648. And that's it. Okay. Yeah, we're kind of just dancing around these lows at the moment. Uh, 39.52 on the S&P cash. Dow's uh, down 378. NASDAQ's off 284. The question is whether or not we can pop back up above 36.36 or if we need to go back and retest the low of a couple of days ago. Uh, and then we get to take off. But, I mean, the volume continues to be low. So I don't want to be, sh I don't want to be short when we get a day like we had yesterday. Um, and I think we're probably going to have a lot of that until we find and beat out some kind of low that we can trade off higher. But uh, I don't know how you go through something like yesterday and stay short unless you were short from the beginning of the year. Um, pretty tough. Uh, question about Tesla. T-S-L-A. Yeah, I see a lot of stuff going on, but uh, I'm not exactly sure whether or not it has a lot to do with reality uh, or politics. Um, did come back down fairly lightly. Um, you did get a nice pop yesterday on 91 million shares. Now you're back down with 67. We'll see how that closes. Uh, the next big uh, support level on this is one, uh, well, let's call it about 180s. That goes back to the May 19th, 2021 low and the March 5th, 2021 low. Um, but that probably is very good support at one, eh, I'm going to call it 180, that March 5th, 2021 low. And that's uh, for Tesla, uh, 26 bucks. Doesn't seem like more than a hiccup, does it? Even after the split, it tends to be a mover. Okay, let's go ahead and check the uh, uh, rest of our email. So what we have here. Uh, what do I think about Box? I think they keep on spreading rumors they're going to get bought out. I don't see any evidence that, that is true. Uh, right now, all you have is lower highs and higher lows. Um, I don't see a lot in this. And I think uh, they're highly optimistic about what someone else is going to pay uh, for this kind of technology that anybody can duplicate. Um, they don't really have any kind of moat uh, around any of the technology they have, and pretty much everybody else already has uh, that technology that's fairly large, so there's not a lot of reason to buy Box 
at a premium, but uh, it made for some good rumors over the last few days. Okay, question to take a look at UNG, which we'll take a look at now. I mean, it looks fairly good. You got uh, yesterday had 4.4 million shares. Uh, you're back down to the lows with 2.5 so far today. Um, ideally, you'd get a, a test of uh, 2170. That October 3rd low, that had uh, 5.88 million shares. You may not get it. Uh, again, I've been waiting very patiently to see the first really cold snap. And uh, I looked this morning. I didn't see much of anything. But, uh, yeah, I think you've got a, probably a pretty good uh, ability for this thing to run up to 30 as soon as we get some cold weather. Just haven't seen much right now in, uh, in that. Okay, uh, let's see what else we have here. Let me get ready. Uh, two, two, two. Okay. Got a couple more emails here. Let's go through these real quick. See if there's anything here. Okay. Two, two, two. Now. Okay. Okay. Question about Microsoft. I haven't looked at it today. MSFT. So we'll take a quick look for uh, Bill. Um, hanging out fairly well, uh, even back into these uh, uh, doldrums that we're at now. Let me update this here. Uh, you know, you did go higher. You got about half the volume. You've only given about half back. Uh, Hard to be too bearish on this after it's come down this much. Stocks can always go lower. I don't think a lot in that. Let's take a look at AMD, see how much these gave back from yesterday's bounce. This one's a little bit more, but volume's still about half of yesterday. Uh, go look for NVIDIA. Uh, yeah, about half back. Same thing, a little bit more volume, but still, uh, Let's call it six tenths of yesterday's volume with uh, an hour and uh, 20 minutes left to go. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it could seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Well, watching the market just edge down here. Not a lot of volume. Uh, 3589.73 for the S&P cash. Uh, although there's a couple of stocks I'd like to buy, and maybe come Monday we may get back into those uh, in the newsletter. But I've got to see how we close today first. But uh, that's it. Uh, Question to look at IBB. Eh, not bad, but uh, half the volume, you've got what? Probably still three-fourths of uh, the bounce in yesterday. So uh, that one looks like it's holding fairly well. Uh, you had a pretty nice uh, retracement. Um, let's go do this so I can see a little bit better. Uh, two, two, two. Okay. So you had a little more in that retracement yesterday. Uh, 6.8, probably about a 70% retracement that turned around yesterday. Now you're back up. Got into the highs early this morning and is coming back down light volume. Uh, I would have liked to see the energy a little less on the way back down, but so far... A lot of these things do look like they're starting to beat out some kind of bottom. That's just uh, how patient you are uh, before pulling the trigger. Uh, okay. Question to look at GLD real quick. Uh, of course, uh, gold is uh, goes to the church of perpetual uh, demoralization. Um yeah, I mean, you do have, uh, you're finally back into this gap higher. That gap higher had about 9 million shares. Yesterday, about 7 million shares, not too bad. Kind of drifting back into it today with whoop, a little under four. So it doesn't look bad. I wouldn't, you know, I'm not a big fan of going short here. I do like the lighter energy on the way back down. Uh, you are starting to te uh, test the low of September 26th. That's where you got the eight and a quarter million shares that you're hitting with under four today. Uh, my guess, though, is this is a pretty nasty market. You're probably going to get halfway more into this gap. So what is that, about 152, probably? Maybe 150, 175-ish. Uh, and there, I'd start taking a look at it again. Um, but uh, I think the stronger of the two is going to be energy. It's having a uh, bad day today. But uh, I think you're getting awful close, like I said, to uh, the weather turning, uh, some other things happening. Uh, can you imagine if the railroad does go on strike and everything has to be uh, actually moved uh, via tractor trailer? what the energy stocks are going to be worth. And, of course, uh, since we don't have any real, uh, well, they shut down a lot of the pipelines, how is any of that energy going to get around if it's not going on rail? 
So uh, certainly the uh, rail unions have a pretty good uh, negotiating uh, position. But, uh, yeah, I think this is just an inside day on the XLE so far. Uh, we did have Morgan Stanley out uh, before the bell on earnings. Uh, this one was uh, kind of the weakest of the bunch. Let's go ahead and look at that. Uh, testing yesterday's low, volume's probably going to be about the same. Um, everybody else was probably a little bit better off. Uh, down eh, four bucks, which is about 5%. Uh, not a horrible day on what we're doing here today, but uh, you can look at it. A uh, question from Rob on Sava. I know it's a uh, favorite of uh, of the folks in the den. Eh, whole lot of nothing. You got no volume here really to speak of. So, eh, this looks kind of sideways to me. I don't see uh, either fish nor fowl in that at the moment. Uh, let's take a quick look at Apple. Okay. Okay. Um, well, certainly you're down on lighter volume today. Uh, you went up yesterday 113 million shares, and so far you're down on 56 million shares. So like I said, I think we're kind of be uh, beating out a low out here in the markets, but it's just not given the signal uh, that uh, the all is clear and we're really ready uh, to go higher. Uh, question on the TLT. Well, we certainly broke it. Um, my guess is this is going to pop back into that 101 range as soon as things uh, actually uh, settle down. And you probably could get a bounce uh, to about 106. Uh, that's just going to be a bounce and a downtrend. Uh, but, again, hard to look at the numbers at 10 o'clock this morning on the economy and not think maybe the Fed is – thinking about maybe being a little bit more dovish on a scale of 1 to 10. They're kind of 10 now. Uh, what would the market do if they went to just being an 8 on raising interest rates? I'm not exactly sure, but maybe you could get a little bounce out of that. Of course, you never know just how bad it could get in uh, Europe and in England. And maybe that is something out of their control where they decide to uh, – think about being oh, just a hair more dovish. And I think that's really all it takes these days is any kind of daylight between being 100% uh, uh, hawkish and dovish um, out here. 877-927-6648. Look at Microsoft, look at GLD, look at Tesla. Okay. DLR. I always thought that this one was going to be the first one to fail uh, and fail early. It didn't fail just about with the rest of the market. This is Digital Realty Trust. Of course, they uh, rent out uh, locations for a lot of uh, web hosting facilities, uh, other things like that to, the, to those folks where you need to put your PCs. Um, I think you just completed an ABC down in this, and that is a big one, about $51. Is that right? 15 yeah, $51. Um, so, no, I probably wouldn't be uh, hanging around here short. Uh, I probably could get a bounce into the 110 area, and at that point, you'd want to look and see whether or not... Uh, uh, that is the next ABC uh, on the way down. But uh, and these real estate trusts are always the ones most heavily hit in a downturn. We'll be back in a minute. This 
Augusta Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we're getting ready to wrap up uh, the show today. And the last 30 minutes are going to be a big deal. Uh, of course, we've got uh, Tom O'Brien going to call it uh, into it. Uh, yesterday, option market makers were talking and uh, were acting like they were going to close this at 3,600. I'm wondering how close that will be today. Um, I probably wish I listened to him a little bit more. I didn't like uh, the all the uh, volume coming in at one time yesterday. So I didn't decide, thank God, to go long or go short. I'm looking for something more than uh, a position I can have on for five hours. Uh, but uh, you know what? Maybe we get that on Monday. Certainly options uh, are continue to be fairly bullish for next week. Uh, we've got a lot of earnings coming up. Uh, and that means, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that. So that would be... Uh, that's today. That's it. Uh, I think I went through these early. Bank of America on uh, Monday morning, also with Charlo Schwab, Bank of Mellon. Uh, do, 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 uh, eh. It's kind of the big guys on Monday. Uh, Tuesday, uh, look forward. I think this is where we're going to start getting the action. Maybe things are going to be a little bit better, kind of like they were on Thursday than people thought they were going to be. 
Uh, Tuesday, we got Netflix, uh, Johnson & Johnson, Lockheed Martin, Intuitive Surgical, United Airlines, State Street, Hasbro, uh, J.B. Hunt. And I'm going to watch that one closely. Uh, you do get some kind of action in uh, the rails because of the strike. I would be watching those, that very closely. J.B.H.T. Let's take a look at that chart. J.B.H.T. You have enough time? Probably not. It's kind of fooling around out here. Yeah, I'd watch it very closely. We get some bad news over the weekend. Look at that uh, Monday morning. So when you can, not when you have to, we'll see you here Monday, bright and shiny. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems important.